Hello and welcome everybody to another video tutorial brought to you by NoxTT.com Enabling Organizations Through Technology In this video we just want to quickly demonstrate the wonderful use of Bash Shell Scripting We're going to semi-automate uh, the FTP process where we will download a file I'm just going to quickly demonstrate it um, I will go through the script Script makes use of the dialog box, a nice interface for Bash Shell scripting. If you wanted to bypass that, you could bypass it. However, it gives a nice interaction with the user. The script is by no means the best, you know, it's not extremely efficient, but it can serve as a starting point for beginners or people who are looking to get their feet wet, so to speak. So on this side, we're going to just watch for when the file comes in. This will act, the left pane here will act, left terminal will act as the folder in which the file will be downloaded. And on this side here is where we're going to run the script. So you see it asks for a, it asks for a username. We just hit that. Simulates processing. I'm, I'm entering the password right now and you're not seeing anything. So this is good in case someone is shoulder surfing. They're not seeing your password. And there the FTP commands are being executed. And as you can see, the while loop downloaded. So let's just do that again. Let's stop. Let's clear that file out. It has nothing. There's nothing there, right? So let's just watch it again. And let's just run the script here again. Enter our username or password. There's a lot of sleep commands, as you would guess, that's why it says processing, and there we go. Once again, the file has downloaded. So let's just have a look at the file that produced this script. So we're using the input dialog box. That's how you get that fancy UI coming up. It naturally takes two coordinates. I'm using 10 and 20. I have a username and a password global variable. So this here, these two functions are the same. And this is what I mean by the script is no means, you know, the most efficient. I'm sure there's some way uh, you will think of to write the script once and run it twice to get both the username input and the password input. But this is a basic uh, use of the input box. It has a title. Then the question is asked. Two and three are the 10 and 20 coordinates. And four will be the, the actual input. It's sent to a file. The information is then taken from that file using the cat command and assigned and in this function, it's assigned to username. In this function, it's assigned to the password. And the real uh, meat of the script is the actual FTP function. So you would have your domain here. You're using the Hadoc technique to issue FTP commands line by line. So you would say, user, once you, once you start the FTP, you're then going to enter your username and password with the command user first. You're going to set your local directory, set it to bin, then you get the while loop, and then you're out of it. Bye bye. So here we just call the function to get the username. Then we're going to call the function to get the password. And then last but not least, we call the FTP function. So in using the dialog box, you have to have the title. Then you're going to have some uh, inner text in the script. 
and then you're going to have the coordinates. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, and that is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is what is going to capture your input. It sends it to a temp file. I have the, uh, the sleep to give the impression that it's processing. You know, you, you can leave that out. But it's the same exact function for both the username and password, and then we call the FTP function. So this is where the functions are defined. And then they're called lower down here. Very simple script. Bash shell scripting is fun. I hope you found this video informative, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.